Hey there, either holder fire family, and welcome to the Narge Room Reacts. In this room, reaction to The Owl House Season 2, Episode 20. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> I'm scared. I think it's one episode left for this season, and then you got three. Uh, mm, it's ready. Oh my god, it's ready. Hey, Bellos, or Philip. <laughs> Collector. You can barely keep your human shape anymore. Oh. <laughs> um, but yeah, does Bellos really expect to go back to the human world without things having really changed? Like honestly, when he had Lewis, I'm surprised he didn't question her on like what the human world's like now. I feel I don't think Bellos would do well in the human world now, especially considering he's Mr. Kill all witches and stuff, and the fact that we now look at back on the Salem witch trials and uh I am now aware of there being a Connecticut witch trials, which thank you to the commenter who pointed that out because I didn't or brought that up because I did not know that, that was a thing. I've only heard of the Salem witch trials. Um, but yeah, the fact that we now look back on that as you know, it being horrible in tra a tragedy, uh, I don't think he'd do too well <laughs> in current human world. Well, he probably would fit in with some groups, but um, yeah, that's a different topic. What games? Not until I've dealt with this one. Just it's interesting that Bellos doesn't want to make more than one Grim Walker. Like, why? I just realized something too. I was gonna do before reacting this episode. I was gonna, I was gonna react to the uh, paintings uh, from I think two or three episodes ago. The one when we went into Bellos's mind that uh, a few of you point, uh, brought up that there are HD versions of those portraits. So, okay, I was gonna react to them before this episode, but what I'll do is I'll react to them after this episode. So sorry about that. <laughs> but since we've already got started this episode, I'm only 40 seconds in. You know what? The edited version will have that, this like cut straight to it. So, you know what? I'll just do that. So um, yeah, let, let, let me just do that real quick. Let me, let me go and find that. Um, memory portraits, there we go. Okay, this'll work. This'll work just fine. And I just closed the page, the wrong one. Come back, come back. Thank you. And I just closed it again. I'm freaking, I can do this. Now remember, don't close it. Don't close it. All right, we're good, we're good. Do this. All right, so we're gonna start with, Um, uh, you know what, let's start with the first one. Okay, so you got Bellos with, who I now know as Caleb, and he's his brother. Um, churning butter. Uh, there's him with his mask. This is them trapping witches. It's just, which is kind of dark. Um, really started when they were younger. Okay, so interest. So Caleb was the big brother. I'm kind of curious on what their parents look like now. Here, can I like make this bigger? Can I? No. Okay. I mean, can I zoom up? I can. Uh, okay, that doesn't zoom up. Anyway, I'll leave it that way. Uh, can I like? Okay, yeah, I can use the arrow keys much better, and that means I can zoom up too. No, I can't. It doesn't let me zoom in like that. All right. Okay, so. This is Caleb carving the mask that Bellos wear. So wait, Bellos' mask, let me see it again. Bellos' current mask is in a, like, I'll just say Bellos. Um, Cause I feel like, I'll call him Philip for here, but when he becomes Bellos, but Bellos' mask looks like his mask that, or the mask that Caleb gave him. So it must've meant something to Bellos or Philip. Right? Because cause Caleb carved the mask for Bellows. Or Philip. Which, aw, oh, that's sweet. But wait, is that knife that Caleb is using to carve the mask, is that the one that we saw, in, that I noticed in that one painting that had blood on it? That I think Bellows used to kill one of the Grimwalkers? So this is them going on the hunts. And they look older. Thing. Yeah, uh, no, actually, maybe they may be the same age. No, no, because the shirt here didn't have the two buttons. This one does, and the overalls look 
longer. And the, he has a collar, like a, a collar of a shirt. So yeah, this is them probably a couple years older or a few years older. So Caleb was tempted with magic? And Bellis looks scared. So, Ca so Caleb went to the to to the boiling aisles, and you know that doorway, that archway, looks like the one that uh, was in the graveyard where Ida found the 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 uh, portal, the human portal. I wonder if Bellis or Philip felt like Caleb abandoned him or something. Did he? Did, hmm, did you follow after Caleb, Philip? This. Okay, you have dark gray hair, so you're not you're not Caleb because Caleb has the white hair. So this is, so this must be Philip when he first discovered the boiling aisles. And we skip right to him wearing the variation of his mask. Mm -hmm. Philip trying to uh huh okay, but where where did Caleb go? Uh, okay, so obviously I see that nose in that bang, that like bang that, yeah, you know, it looks like an older hunter. So that's obviously Caleb. And I'm guessing from them holding him holding hands with the woman. And the design of the woman looks a lot like Ida. Like, I don't know, the hair and the clothing style. And she's pregnant. Um, but the hair and clothing style reminds me of Ida. So wait, where? I'm sorry, but wait. Okay, there was the episode where where Amity and Hunter and Ida and King had to work together in the Titan vein or whatever. And uh, I always found it weird how Hunter. Well, even um Hunter, even in uh uh what was it? when we first meet Hunter, or not first meet Hunter, but when we see Hunter or Hunter or uh Hunter's first time. Uh, running into uh, Ida and Luce. He did the bye at the end, and I'm like, thinking to myself, I'm like, why does he say it the same way that Ida does? Like, Ida, okay, Ida and Hunter are the only ones who say it that way, but I wonder, does this mean that? At first, I thought maybe Hunter could be, like, a descendant of, like, maybe a Clawthorn, and, um, wouldn't that be interesting if they had gone that route? Um, because then he'd be a child of Philip, <laughs> technically, or Bellows, technically. Um, and would have a lot of... No, because they're both humans, so that wouldn't work either. Um, but now I understand why Hunter doesn't have magic, because he's a human. So he would have to use sigils. Or, like, he uses that staff that Bellows gave him to use magic. Hmm. Alright, so... Obviously, Bellas was not pleased that Caleb fell in love with a witch. And she was, but she was pregnant. Unless she's, she's pregnant, right? She looks pregnant to me. Is this when Bellas or Philip used wild magic and became corrupted by it? And he attacks Caleb and his wife? And Caleb hugged him. He's gonna stab him. He's gonna he's gonna stab him, isn't he? But yeah, I, I really see Hunter in him now. Like from this side shot, him being older, you really see Hunter in him. Ah, uh, I thought you were gonna stab him when he was hugging you. Oh, you had that behind your back. Mm. Mm, when does this go down? Oh God, is, why do I feel like the next painting is gonna be the one when we see that bloody dagger and? Grim Walker or Caleb laying on the ground. Okay, so you both fight. Can we get it like a can we get like a side story or something on like all of it? I would be interested in this. Okay, we already know what happens with through this, but I honestly wish this was animated. Like I would love to have seen this. Would have been probably angsty as all heck, but uh, interesting. Hello. Show me the angst. Come on. Oh yeah, there's that one. But we don't see the wife. What happened to the wife? Bellos, or Philip had to have killed the wife, right? Because she's a witch. 
But then what happens to the baby? Who's the baby? Mm. Oh, there's the wife. So the wife. Okay, so the wife is brown here, but. So she attacks Bellows or Philip. So she's still alive. Okay, so then we have him eating palsman or consuming palsman. Okay, there's the recipe for making the Grimwalker, or is this to keep him young, to keep him alive? No, this has got to be, this has got to be the recipe for creating a Grimwalker, right? No. Hmm. Oh, we get it. We get an image or a painting of Bellows with that, with Lilith's mentor? Why? What are those two? Hmm. So you literally grow the Grimwalkers from the ground? Ew. I mean, interesting, but ew. Is this a, I mean, it's a Golden Guard or a Grimwalker, but what, is the staff they're using shattering or being built? Oh, this one's dying, I think. Oh, he's turned to stone? Huh. Man, there's a lot of paintings they did for this. That's a nut. So it's a golden guard. I don't know where he is, though. It's just, that one's kind of vague. That one, I'm not sure. Another golden guard. You have longer hair, though. Make sure I got this right. Am I freaking out? The thing? <laughs> Maybe it's too many photos. Okay, I only pressed it once, so this should be, like, the right one. There we go. All right. Okay, so that was it. All right, so that was it for the paintings. Interesting. Very interesting. So, he didn't kill Caleb's wife. So, she's still out there. But it's been so long since then, there's no way that... I mean, if she was pregnant, that her child is Hunter? Mm-mm. Okay, interesting. Hmm. All right, well, thank you to all of you who brought up about the paintings, like, there being HD versions. I didn't think there would be. I figured, ah, it should be all background stuff, but people are, like, zoomed in and stuff. I'm like, I don't really need to see it. But the fact that it's all HD and there's a lot more that I didn't notice, yeah, that literally, that, that definitely paints the story of uh, Caleb and, and Philip's life up until the end and then a little bit after that and how, okay. Interesting. Okay, let me uh, go back to the episode. <laughs> The God, you are so whiny. Mm. You need to have more faith in pinky swears. <laughs> you need to have more faith in pinky swears. You have the little face going, <laughs> like a rapid nod. Don't worry. The day of you. Oh, you two are in the forehead, like where? So you're where? You're where Luce and Lilith took Bell or Bellows brought Luce and Lilith to. Interesting. Oh, and this is the day of unity setup. Interesting. I already, if I, if I was, if I was getting tickets, I look at that and go, this looks like a sacrifice <laughs> chamber. I'm good. You know what? I'll stand outside and watch you all from here. I'm sure there'll be, I'm sure the audio will be big, uh, strong enough. Is about to begin. Oh, wait. The balloons have all the different, uh, coven things. So each, each one's bringing in probably the students that, oh uh, my God, this is a big sacrifice circle. I can just feel it. Oh, wow. Oh, this is the shortest one yet. It's not even a straight cut to, like, the magic being used. It's just the zoom in of the owl house. For your demotion, Kikimura. Oh, Please we got... stop talking to me. Coven crate? Is that what it is? Coven crate? That's funny. Kikimura's, like, relegated to being, what, a delivery person? <laughs> uh, also, I'm, 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 I was wondering when we were going to see uh, Amity's parents, like, or at least her mom, uh... And the and the abomatrons and everything be used for this war fight. Oh, if only there was a way to show Bellos your true worth. If only there was a way to show Bellos your. <laughs> <Let's> <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, she even pisses off Kikimura. <laughs> oh, hey, Amity. I believe you. Even if she did, she won't care. Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> God, you know, it's bad when even Edge just flat out says, you know what, even if, like, you could tell her that they're going to be used for, like, war and killing all of us, she's not going to care. <laughs> like, that's pretty bad when your son thinks of you that way. Or else she and Dad are helping Bellows hurt people. <gasps> Is she going to care? Alador will, but I don't think she will. Don't you think it's odd that they need this much security for the Day of Unity? Perhaps Alador question. Should... Blights always uphold their end of the deal, dear. Now when it's sacrificing other people. Should I reconsider ours? Wait, what deal did you make with Alador? Does it have to do with the with Hamity? Or your marriage overall? Hmm? It might be time for the kids to play a more active role in Blight Industries. I could start the paperwork right now. Has she been... did she... F okay, did her and Alador get together originally out of like... I don't know about her, but Alador like love. But then once they had children, she started using the children against Alador to control him. Oh, is she really going to be worse than I even thought she was before? Hey guys, dad might listen. Uh, Ed M. You're grounded. Oh no, not grounded. Surely I can't just leave the house. <laughs> Everwolf and uh forgot her name walking together. What kind of I'm not even gonna try and read that anymore. You know, it, as much as I'd like to, I just haven't remember what each one stands for. Mm. What is that? The language of love. You wouldn't understand, Ida. Actually, no, Ida would understand because her and Rain are in, in love. So, but youthful love, <laughs> next generation love. You wouldn't understand. It just says grounded. Come quick. Linda. Wait. Hey, oh, uh. Luce, you've got your hair in a little ponytail. You actually you look really good with it. <laughs> Special delivery. What are those? Uh, oh, guard mask. Ooh, disguises. Yay! My am a titan. Totally frightened. You don't want to announce <laughs> that, so. King. I know you may be a titan, but you're still a little guy. Yeah, you're still a right, baby, technically. Child, child. Okay. Wheel of yeah, Fortune. 24 hours until the Day of Unity begins, and Bellos activates the draining spell. And everyone on the boiling dies. Is taken out. Bellos made sure we all have replacements. We can't stop the draining spell. Well, there goes that idea. We can corrupt it. That's where the Owl Lady comes in. Oh. Huh? I just realized the look that Rain gave after Darius said that. Rain is not happy or comfortable with that at all. Ugh, the curse eater. Right. My I forgot about that. Magic. You remember incorrectly. I was completely unfazed. Uh huh. Right, Darius. <laughs> Please tell me, Everwolf's gonna pop up and just look at a look at him like, uh, right. <laughs> he's, he's not even like he's not even like looking at like a deadpan expression. It's like a little ooh ooh smirk kind of face. Nations to release Everwolf's flesh-eating beetles into the crowd. Ew! What is this? Frickin' the mummy? With the curse, and the day will be saved. No problem. That sounds too simple. Oh. But only a few people would get eaten. Even uh. then, just the small ones. If what? We must do so, this. children. My place, sigil, and all. Oh. Oh. As head. Please let me do this. As no. A but I'm pretty sure Lilith's side of the curse hasn't corrupted, like to the extent that it has with Ida. You haven't had your curse that long. Mm-hmm. And how can I say no to sticking it to Bellows one final time? One final Not only time. That, but I got the rain whispers watching out for me. Heck yes, owl lady! Woo! Mama Ida! Rain doesn't like it though. Rain Rain does not want to risk Ida's life. <laughs> I don't blame them. I want you two to interact already. You've been away from each other long enough! Look what I got. The coat's finally dry. I thought you'd what is that? something cute like the tarantula. Why an egg? We didn't get to see them carve. Ah, man! I want to see them carve it together. But I guess 
Why do I feel like it's because they only had so many episodes left that so they had to cut that down? Uh, but I like the way it looks. It's an egg. Interesting. So she she's gonna let it hatch on its own. Mm? I got to decide what my future looked like when I chose to be a witch, and I want them to have that option too. Aw, that's cute. She's gonna let it decide what it, what it's gonna. Be. Oh, <laughs> I I can't wait to see what it's gonna be. Music. Oh yeah, because there's that thing where like if you play classical music or something, when and the baby's developing, it like um helps them or calms them or something. They can hear you. I love you already. Mm. That'd be me. I'm sorry. If that was my talisman, I'd be like, me, you baby, baby, baby. <laughs> but if it's the only way to stop this, then I'm mm -hmm. gonna do it. I mean, there's nothing else they can do. They're all kind of saving the world. Dead. Sounds, it's not nearly as romantic as going on a rescue mission to save your girlfriend. Girlfriend? <laughs> I haven't heard that for a bit. But I also want to be there for you. Hey, how's it? All right, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to step in here. As much as I love you, Ida, like a lot. Lumini, Lumini, give me Lumini, <laughs> please. I okay. I I want to see what happens with Ida. ida has got a rain, okay. Amy's got you loose, and. Emma needs her loose, so go off. Go go do that. I don't want to see this too. Don't cut it off and be like, okay, that's gonna happen off screen. Mm -mm. You you give us Lumity. <laughs> if we succeed, when we succeed. Don't be so pessimistic, we Luce. After all. We've got King the Titan and Luce. <laughs> Why he kind of leaned back like, yes, me. <laughs> don't forget Ida, the owl lady. Mm -hmm. Already alleged. Luce, the, the human. Most horrifying one of them all. <laughs> 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 this is so sweet and cute. Oh, this. <laughs> this mama's not ready for trauma, I swear. I'm not. And we'll be back together before you know it. Hmm. Ida. Wait. Okay. I, thought, I was like, wait, King, aren't you? Going? She's, she's going to tell Rain to protect Ida at all costs or something, isn't she? Promise you'll protect her. Yeah, I, I, I knew this was going to do that. Are you kidding me? It's rain. Rain would give their life for Ida, so you, uh, you. I don't want that to happen, but yeah. Rain's got Ida covered. Promise. We are the covens. Cats! <laughs> Meow. Please not make this up Do it. Time. Do it. The cats. Meow. Oh, they hiss. That's right. I forgot they don't meow. They hiss. Do my best. Poor King. King's gonna feel that pressure because he is a Titan, but he's, he's such a baby. Like. He's, he's tiny. He's a speck. See ya. Hi. What? I don't need a security escort. Did you hear that, Gus? Yeah. Willow. Oh, I guess Willow. Been fun. Yay, <laughs> Gus. Willow. They were. But then Hunter. You must be dealing with a lot after learning. That Bellos is evil. <laughs> don't worry, I'm a okay. Sure you are. What was that? What was that? It wasn't even a handshake. That was a head, he, hand head shake. He, hand head bump shake. What the? This is what. She's so. She's. I swear to God, if Willow makes a joke on like this is what happens when you're rushed or something like that to make another jab at Disney for them getting their seasons cut down. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. Since when you go missing for a week? Okay. It's been a week. I don't know what you three went through, but they seem to like you. So yeah. Don't worry how they react, right? If that's the case, have you told them about helping Philip? No. We have our secrets. <laughs> Wait, but Bellis is probably gonna spill the bean on both of them. He's probably gonna be like, "Oh yeah, Luce helped me with this, and Hunter did that thing." So yeah, 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 I, yeah. I cannot wait to see Amity's reaction to seeing Luce like this. And Luce, they better have like the cutest, sweetest little like reunion hug, hold, kiss. I don't know what something. Operation save Amity or break out Amity. The knuckle cracking. Sorry, man. 
Oh, one of you. Not the alarm. But we'll all handle. Amity, Amity, let down your hair. If she had long hair. Ah. Why do I feel like that's not Amity though? Mmm, what if this is a trap? Of course. Wow, isn't this a romantic setting? You got the vines with the flowers and the beautiful sunset background. I'm gonna fix this and I'm gonna Wait. Is there a freaking heart in that? BT90? Is that because it was this Tomagachis were in the 90s and early 2000s? But the heart. Can you not make things more gross when it comes to boiling aisles? Like, does everything have to have a heart? I don't want to think of devices and things. Like, that's like if my remote for my light had a heart. Like, that, that's just weird. If mom would just hear us out. They can I love how Ed is all like, like, has holes in his shirt and everything and mud and stuff. And, and M just looks fine. <laughs> like, was it Ed that did all of it? Shout as loud as we want, but money always shouts louder. Dad would listen. No. Love will shout the loudest. And I just, I just want to know that Luce is safe. Knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Probably something dorky, but sweet. Also sweet. Like how I shouldn't give up and that anything is possible. And she'd say that I might be scared. They're going to notice Luce, aren't they? Scared now, but to not let that stop me because because every problem has a solution and everything's been so cr they're gonna leave them alone crazy we've barely been able to spend time together and i am not letting the world end before we go on a real date whoa you're right I would look at that shot <laughs> no you're so setting this up say all that So cute! Oh, the hug, the full arm wrap around you. Yeah. Take you out when this is all over, Amity. I promise. No monsters, no mysteries. Don't promise things, please. I don't need this. This is. I. I swear to God, if this somehow ends tragically or something, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> and it'll be awesome. I know. No, I knew something was up. The animation for Amity when she kind of like did that little head thing. I'm like, that was so smooth. Like, they're, they're putting like effort into this scene. What are the, and then all is the, the face. Yeah. <laughs> ah, this is so cute. Oh. Yeah, there's that animation. It's the animation, we, the, that special animation. I can't speak. Crikey. Crikey! That's, <laughs> that's what you guys did! That's where it came from! The crikey was this all along! You little <laughs> Yashima! I thought it was gonna be a character or something! That's what Luz says when they kiss for the first time! It's crikey! I thought it was gonna be like some Australian character or something that's gonna come in and it's just something she says when it's her first kiss! No! No, <laughs> you can't! I don't know! I can't believe I just did that. The animation, the animation. I can't believe I just said that! The animation! The animation's so good! How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my parents know what they're helping them. No, 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 we're not, not, no, you, you go back. I'm watching through this kiss again. Like, I'm watching this again without pause, okay? Sweet potato! <laughs> I know. There's the animation. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. It's so cute, face. <laughs> How did I even think that? Come on, Luz, be cool next time. Luz, I don't think my. I'm actually tearing up. Like, the animation for that was so perfect and good. I just. Oh my god. 
just for their first kiss, it's so good. It's like a, it's, and the fact that this goes crikey, where'd that come from? It's so random, but so cute at the same time. What? Oh my god. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to watch that scene. I have to. I won't go back as far, but I gotta see this. I just love the animation and this just this 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 English this whole moment. I know. Oh, crikey! Crikey! <laughs> I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just said that. Oh, crikey! How did I even? She said it again. She said crikey again. It must be cool next time. Uh, probably one of my favorite kisses in a series ever, ever, out of any series, any series, any series period. Probably one of my top three kisses. No, actually might be. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to put this probably at number one, which that's knocking Avatar Last Airbender of Aang and Katara's kiss down because that was like a moment where I was like, yes, but this is just the animation, the, the, okay. The, the Aang Katara one was very like, oh, it was a long build up kind of thing. Um, and just. It was my first ship that I actually became canon, so I was very excited for it. But I don't know, just the way this was animated and their their, their gestures and just the hand, face hold. Uh, uh, that's so good. Oh my god, you too. Oh, okay. I'm not going to watch it another time, even though I, I'm tempted to, but we're going to resist. I'm going to resist. I'm going to resist. I don't want this to be an extra, like, 30 minutes just because of a kiss. Hey, that rhymed. <laughs> I think. I don't think my parents know what they're helping Bellos accomplish. Your mom doesn't care, Alador. told them about the draining spell? Of course. That's why we're was she, was, she, was she still splashing? Was she still... <laughs> Liz, you're still like, <laughs> they gave their stuff. We kissed. We kissed. Okay. Of course. That's why we're here. We? we? Oh, yeah, that's right. I for <laughs> that kiss. I was so caught up in it. I completely forgot the four of you were there. It's looking over at you. Are they going to have a Oh, wait. I just noticed you have the feathers. Are Rain and Ida going to kiss? Okay, as much as I love Lumini, absolutely adore it. Rain and Ida are my like second, like them, they're tied with Lumity. So they better put as much animation detail and like into their kiss or whatever as they did for Lumity. Okay, please do not do justice or please do justice for Rita, Rita. So yeah. I got it all under control, Rainstorm. Jealous, I may be a better coven head than you. Range yeah, is concerned. Range is scared. You'll never be able to practice wild magic again. Oh, it's permanent? I thought I thought it was only while it was on there. I thought it could be removed, so it's permanent. Oh. Why would I refuse? We're almost there. Here's your I want you two to kiss, It'll please. Hidden... Whoa. That's weird. This works a little If they kiss now, this is just gonna be weird. <laughs> please don't do that now. Too well. I wonder. He's got the two the gold tooth still. Ah! It works. <laughs> Let's not do that. Oh, weird. Drink. Stop. Okay, no. I was gonna say Marie might say something. I'm sorry. Is Kiki Kiki gonna literally be a throwaway character at this point, where she's just like thrown into like. The mundane, like, delivery guard stuff. Like, her just sitting there looking dead tired in a, a scarf, khaki shorts, and, like, a t-shirt with, like, a cup of coffee or whatever they drink on the boiling aisles to keep them energized, even though she doesn't look energized. I'm sorry, this is funny. Right. I hope this last shipment will be... What'd she just say? Be... I hope this last shipment will be... I thought for a moment she said shit mint, not ship mint. I was gonna say, did they sneak that in? You two are kind of sad. Uh, loose Amity, your hair. Okay, Hunter, you guys need to tuck in your hair. You you stand out in King King. There's no way this works, right? It's safer. If anyone asks, guarding the perimeter. You have your horns and teeth that can. This is not gonna. Uh, the guards all look the same, mostly. 
like the at most the features that stand out are like that one with the whatever ears horns that was it but y'all have hair sticking out he, king has horns and i mm. what? <sighs> what's that blue thing on the floor but who is that he won hello we spent hundreds of years playing king's eyes are lit up and he's connected to the collector his game i want to play a new game <laughs> What is that blue thing? <gasps> what? You might want to reconsider. Introducing the Abomatron. It's 700 snores power, has two snores power. power jet packs, and comes in several shades of lilac. Lilac. I outfitted this one specially for you. Oh my god, Kiki's gonna get to pilot this like some kind of mech out of Titanfall or like the mechs from the Avatar movies? You. <laughs> oh god, she is gonna have a power trip in this. I'm really sad. He turned him into a rat? What? Follow my lead. Mrs. Blight! Uh. Tonk. <laughs> yeah, and we are all about invaluable- Like, she wouldn't recognize your voice, Luce. And if Amity speaks, like, she won't recognize Amity's voice? I'm glad Kiki can recognize that voice. voice. <gasps> or actually, she recognizes Hunter's voice, but... And again, with Hunter's voice being annoying. Hunter's voice is not annoying, okay? I like Hunter's voice, but, um... Her, Amity's mom seriously couldn't recognize Luce's voice? Oh. Uh-oh. I wonder if Alador is gonna help. The growl. Wait, we saw like the rat in the room with like Alador's glasses and stuff eating chips, but now we see Alador and that rat also had like purple spots in it. Alador's out here with the goggles and everything eating the same like bags. Is that rat his, excuse me, is that rat his palisman or is he a rat that becomes? None of this feels right. Do you have kids, Mr. Scum? Oh, uh... I'm a kid myself. <laughs> Get to know them. Things are gonna change after the Day of Unity. Oh boy, aren't they? The Day of Unity. Oh, uh, is King gonna inform Alador about this and then Alador's gonna step in? Oh, is Alador gonna be the one to step in and save him, or...? I mean, I, you know what? I thought the rat was Alador, so... Alador still could technically step in, just he's not a rat. Dealt with? Don't worry, they'll just be grounded with maximum security. Don't you? I thought she was about to kill them or something. I was gonna be like, wow, is she really that bad? Get it? You're helping a witch hunter destroy everything. Really, Mittens, I'm tired of all this drama. And all these conspiracies. I don't want to hear it. Sneaking around in little disguises, convincing the twins to act out. Are you trying to make me look bad? She's trying to help people. Hush, brat. Don't you talk. I love how, I love how freaking Lou stands up against her for Am like stands up against Adalia, Adalia for like Amity, but then when it, Dahlia Brett, like insults Luce, Amity's just right there with, to, oh, I love these two. To my girlfriend like that. Oh, she right out. <laughs> girlfriend? Oh, no, no, that won't do. Though, no, you cannot be affiliated with a human. Oh, you're pissing off the wrong girl! Oh, no, wait! Freaking lose his eyes there! Her eyes! Her eyes went all like sparkly and like. Wait, did freaking Gus's eyes do the same thing? Okay, so you got. Okay, now you two just look like you're tired or high. So you, their eyes look normal. You both sparkle over Amity going Hulk oh, Katara sicko mode. Well, this. Oh, please, Amity. Ugh, to the core. Are you both gonna like break out or like try to do something? Maybe he'll make me the 
the new golden guard. <laughs> I hope he does, because you don't know the fate of a falls golden guard. Well, that's right. The emperor has eyes everywhere. And the oh, they know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Hunter's just like, what are you two talk whispering over there? Alador, 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 Alador. Was it the power of believing in myself? Was it the power of believing in myself? Sorry, this isn't an anime. No, it was the Actually, no, that's not just anime. That's freaking a lot of cartoons, especially Disney stuff. The power of science. Alador! Sweetie, Adalia. Are you going to believe your husband or? You already knew? What he did? I knew, I knew Dahlia didn't give a shit. She, <laughs> Amity's like, what? Us with our products is none of our business. Uh, in, in, Dahlia reminds me of the ones who sell weapons of war and they don't care what they're used for. That's what Dahlia is. She's literally like, she's literally that. What is my business? Money. Is our family ahead of the rest. And you think this isn't going to affect your family if you do this. You're welcome. Bella doesn't give a shit about any of you. Bella wants all of your magic. Everyone. What can I say except you're welcome? I'm guessing that's an angry blush or flustered anger, not happy. There you go, making that face. This is why I don't tell you things. With the Emperor's favor, we'll live like royalty in the new world. Crowns and everything. This is too much, even for you. <laughs> Alvar's like, no. Oh, Mama and Dad fighting? Now, now, let's... I don't think you want to do that, Hunter! Oh, <laughs> don't mess with the Willow's Hunter. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at Kiki's face, too. It's like so like, oh, I, oh, I'm dead. Oh, that's cheating. Of course you would do that. Bish. Let's just destroy the whole building where we're at it. One is mine. Mine. Uh. The jetpack actually works. Dad. Uh, uh, the jetpack actually works. E yeah. <laughs> Let's get back to business, shall oh, we? Dahlia. You. I am never speaking to you again. You'll thank me when you're a literal princess, princess. Yep. It's what's best. What's best for the family is putting an end to all this. Go, Dad. Go, Alador. Yes. Destroy the facility. Yeah. He's their inventor. Like, come on. This work is finished. Also, I quit. I quit. This. <laughs> I quit. I've been meaning to find a more competent business partner anyway. Business partner? Is that all she looked at, at as Alador? Like, she didn't seem as, as a husband. It was just a business part. Oh, my God. Way, and you won't be getting your severance package. I don't think he cares. Oh, Titan. That was terrifying. Willow, wait! She's getting Hunter back. I apologize for Adalia. You are always welcome at our home. No! No! Did Lou switch herself out with Hunter once she knew that they were, like, Eda and them are all compromised? Oh no. Oh, Amity's gonna freak. Wait. In the face that, like. He's welcome at our home. Yeah. Hunter was like, oh, I can't keep this up. I, I, I feel bad. Home. Oh god. I'm confused. I'm con What's going on? I'm oh. sorry. It happened so fast. She's being taken to Bellows. Oh no. Oh, Luce. And we're running it here, aren't we? Aren't we? Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, we're ending it with this kind of... Okay. This is an ominous outro. Kind of peaceful if Luce wasn't being taken to Bellows, but, uh...
Okay. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and get into my thoughts. Oh, oh my. Oh, this episode. Oh, this episode. There was quite a bit. Oh, why? Mm. Oh, there's a lot. Oh, I, I think you guys already kind of got the summary of my thoughts of like for the stuff that mainly went down. But yeah, there is a lot of stuff. Quite a bit to this episode, but overall, an amazing episode. Um, and uh, of course, Luce was as soon as Lu uh, Luce heard that, as soon as Kiki said that they knew about Ida and their plan. Oh, I, I mean, that does not surprise me at all that Luce swapped herself with with Hunter. Oh, poor Amity's gonna freak. Okay. Oh, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't really, there's not really, I don't think there's really much for me to say. I already pretty much sent, like, said my thoughts during the episode, or throughout the episode. Uh, but, like, overall, uh, plot, great, amazing. Um, characters, great, amazing. <laughs> Animation, great, amazing. Um, like, even, like, the non, like, okay, like, the moments when uh, Amy and Moose kiss, like, you could tell, obviously, the animation style completely, like, becomes so, just so I don't know if it's the word detail, but it's very smooth and the extra frames and just there's a difference. Like I I I, I don't know if they have the same person or people that do those specific scenes. Like it reminds me of when Ida and Lilith had their fight way back in uh, near the end of season one. Um, it's that kind of smoothness and um, uh, I don't know if it's like a specific animator they get to do that or if it's like a couple of them or a few of them. Um, but gosh, those are always such treats and the fact that they dedicated that kind of animation for Luce and Amy's kids is just. That's why I'm hoping Ida and Rain, if they kiss, they get that kind of animation. Or whatever it is. Whatever special moment they get, I hope it gets that kind of animation. Um, but yeah, the animation, like, overall was really good for this episode. Like, the backgrounds, the set design. Like, a lot of it was just really pretty and nice and detailed. Um, so, yeah, overall animation was amazing. Uh, great. Uh, music was... Music was good. Like, I don't want to say... Okay. The music was, like, goodish, Like, good to great wasn't great to me but it was like it wasn't just good it was like close to great um especially like when there's action scenes and stuff and it gets that kind of like it's that owl house sound i don't know how to describe it it's a sound that has been in throughout the series and whenever there's like action or something it's typically a certain kind of music i still think my favorite music out of the series so far has been um the episode where they find out king's past uh when they fought the guardian like that music there specifically stood out to me a lot and it was, it's probably my favorite out of the series so far. Um, I don't know. But yeah, the music was good to great in this episode. Um, but yeah. Oh, God. I think I think the next episode is the last for the season, or it's the second to last. I'm pretty sure it's 21 episodes for season two. Um, excuse me. And then you get three episodes for season three. So... I'm, I'm not ready for this, and I have to. I'm very tempted to. I really want to watch the next episode cause, just because of how they've left it off. Um, but I will wait. <laughs> um, plus, uh, hopefully my uh, Owl House sh shirt comes in, so I can wear something more appropriate for the reactions. Um, uh, but yeah. Um, anyway, those are my thoughts for this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction. If you like early access to my full and edited reactions, go join my Patreon. I will put the link for it up in around here. Uh, but yeah, anyway, have a wonderful morning or afternoon or night and keep burning bright. See ya!